आपको होश बना देता हूँ एक मिनट वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू वन एंड ऑल एंड वाम वेलकम इन दिस लेक्चर सीरीज ऑर्गेनाइज बाय आयुष दर्पण फाउंडेशन ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ नाइन्थ फाउंडेशन डे एंड आई एम द होस्ट ऑफ दिस सेशन डॉक्टर शिल्पा एंड आई विश आयुष दर्पण अ वेरी बिग कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन ऑन दिस ओकेजन एज दिस इज अ बिग प्लेटफॉर्म नाउ एंड वेरियस लेक्चर सीरीज वी कंडक्ट हियर ऑन रेग्युलर बेसिस and for uh, your knowledge we conduct regularly stirok sambhasha at evening time so stirok sambhasha ye hamari pichle 2.5 saal se chal rahi hai jahan bharat mein aisi koi bhi sambhasha nahi hoti hai aur is satra mein sare uh, technical aur sare jo bhi stirok ke vaidya hai wo sare judte hain aur isi ke sath vaidya bhi judte hain aur is satra ko hum log uh, एक डिस्कशन के रूप में चलाते हैं तो आप सभी से निवेदन करूंगी कि आप भी इस सत्र में जरूर जुड़ते जाइएगा क्योंकि जैसे हम लोग यहाँ पे एक संभाषा के रूप में डिस्कशन होता है केस प्रेजेंटेशन होता है सारे वैद्य मिलकर इसमें अपने अपने अनुभवों को शेयर करते हैं यहाँ पर आज हमारे साथ उपस्थित है डॉक्टर रचना भट्ट मैडम इज प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पी टी एस आर श्री श्री कॉलेज ऑफ आयुर्वेदा बेंगलोर एंड शी इज कंसिस्टेंटली विथ एस and uh, she has delivered many lectures on the platform of ayush darpan and a well known personality in the field of gynecology or madam ne kai sare papers publish kiye hai unke chapters bhi hai published to aaj hum log madam ko sunenge on the topic sutika paricharya so welcome ma'am namaskar Please, madam you can start namaste namaste very good morning to one and all I am Dr. Rachana, professor in the Department of PTSS, Shri Shri College of Ayurvedic Science and Research Hospital, Bangalore. So, welcome you all for uh, my presentation on the topic uh, Sutika Paricharya. So, becoming a mother is a dream for every every woman's life. So, after uh, pregnancy, after delivery, there will be lot of anatomical and physiological ch changes which is taking place uh, in the female body. and after the delivery for about uh, one and a half month or six weeks there will be lot of anatomical and physiological and psychological emotional changes which are, which is taking place and there are certain regimens which are uh, explained in our classics uh, regarding uh, the benefit of the mother and for the baby that is nothing but the sutika paricharya and from uh, from pregnancy to the motherhood there will be a lot of transformation will be happening and physical exertion will happen during the time of labor and that is why everyone especially the kashyapa says that the one leg will be uh, on the earth and other will be in the hell so after the day expulsion of the placenta the woman is called as sutika so kashyapa explained sutayas chapi tatrasyat apara chena nirgamana फॉर ए मदर after the delivery charaka says that the sutika is shunya after the delivery the body of the female is considered as a shunya sharira uh, because of the prasava vedana kledakshaya dhatukshaya and raktakshaya so lot of uh, blood loss will happen dhatukshaya will happen and there will be lot of exertion during the time of labor so to overcome all these uh, things and to gain the uh, pre pregnancy state so the sutika paricharya is required and sutika paricharya will help to restore the physiological condition and it will help to protect from the sutika vyadis and uh, acharya kashyapa has mentioned three divisions of maternal diet that is matruposhana garbhaposhana and stanya poshana so dhatukshaya will happen 
during the after the delivery that has to be gained by the mother and during the pregnancy the garbha poshana should happen and after the delivery the stanya poshana should happen so poshana of the datu is very much required after the delivery so at the time of delivery the there will be anavasthita dhatu and there will be ex, uh, excretion of kleda and rakta and uh, because of that there will be rasarakta kshaya and even uttarottara dhatu kshaya will happen and even um, after the delivery there will be agni vaishamyata so the woman body is considered as or she will be in amavastha and there will be strothorodha and even agni vaishamya also hence the uh, female body is considered as a shunya sharira and her digestive capacity muscle mass strength everything will decrease after the delivery that is why so much care we have to take after the delivery to regain all these things and the purpose of main purpose of doing this sutika paricharya and it involves certain principles so this sutika period is called as in the modern science perperial period so after the delivery first six weeks they will consider as a perperium time even the modern people also they will give importance to this perperial period and there will be the principle of this doing sutika paricharya is to do the vata shamana agni deepana pachana rakta vardhana stanya vardhana yoni samrakshana garbhashaya shodhana kosta shodaka and dhatu pushti bhalya so sutika paricharya the will help to gain all these things and to uh, resolve the doshas which are aggravated during the time of labor and it will subside the mainly the vata dosha is involved and that will be subsided vata shamana will happen with the help of sutika paricharya so sutika who is emaciated and weak due to the growth and development of the fetus expulsion of the kleda and rakta unstable dhatu so by following this sutika paricharya she will regain the lost nourishment and health and she will become to the pre pregnant state that is why kashyapa clearly mentioned punarnavi bhavati punarnavi bhavati all the lost dhatus will be regained after doing the sutika paricharya so what is the period of this sutika kala so different acharyas given the different explanation regarding this sutika kala so charaka not specifically he has mentioned but vagbhata sushruta they have mentioned that one and a half month is a time duration of sutika avastha or sutika kala and kashyapa he has mentioned six months duration for the sutika period so even the modern uh, science also tells that six weeks it is nothing but one and a half month so one and a half month or till the reappearance of menstruation or the menstrual cycle is considered as a sutika kala then what are the paricharyas so there is samanya paricharya and vishishta paricharya so samanya paricharya that is mani dharana uh, sutika snana and the uh, samanya paricharyas the ahara and the vihara what she has to follow so the mani dharana they have given lot of importance in the classics especially they have told the trivrutta mani trivrutta mani has to be tied over the forehead so it will help to give uh, give the psychological support to the uh, mother and in uh, some religion they will tie to the shoulder or to the hand also and in uh, some uh, region of our country they will tie it to the uh, waist uh, region so uh, in different parts of uh, india the different customs are followed regarding this sutika paricharya and sutika snana that is also is mentioned so uh, usually according to the classical uh, uh, things they have told 10th day or 12th day after doing the mangala charana that is after for uh, performing the pujas the bath should be given to the mother so even nowadays also 
this custom will be followed especially in the northeast uh, uh, regions of our country they will give bath only after the 11th day or 12th day after the delivery so till that time they will be uh, isolated or they will be kept separately in a separate room or in the separate place but um, here in uh, south india and uh, north india they will not uh, uh, follow uh, so immediately uh, uh, in uh, some religion third day of the delivery or seventh day of the delivery or in some religions uh, ninth day of the delivery so different customs will follow different uh, days for giving a bath but every religion will give importance for this sutika snana so after performing uh, the pujas they will do this and the aharas uh, charaka has mentioned uh, that the samanya paricharya so the sutika when she feels so hungry that time the chatur sneha should be mixed up with uh, panchakola churna uh, which uh, according to the satni and agni bala of the patient has to be given and udara abhyanga with uh, sarpi or taila can be done and udara vestana with a long soft cloth so nowadays they are uh, uh, using uh, the abdominal belts hmm? so that uh, the main purpose of uh, doing this udara vestana is to do the vata shamana and uh, it will give strength to the muscles so nowadays also it is followed and there is a description of this uh, tying uh, the cloth or the abdominal binder uh, uh, that is nothing but the udara vestana and ubaya kala ushnodaka parishayaka they have explained and ubaya kala pippalyadi siddha yavago with grita should be given for 5 to 7 days so administration of mainly the brahmana substances they have explained in all the uh, our classics and uh, according to different uh, classics different uh, uh, type of uh, the aharas uh, they have explained but all the acharyas explained or the given importance for the ushna agni dhipana dravyas aharas up to 7 days they have explained the uh, sneha pana with pipalyadi dravyas and yavagupana with pipalyadi dravyas uh, by Charaka and according to Sushruta, they have explained uh, Vatahara Aushada and uh, Ushna Gudodaka with the Pipalyadi Kanadravyas. And uh, on uh, second or third day, uh, we have to start with uh, Kshira Yavago or Kshira uh, Sneha Yavago Sadita Vidari Ganda the Dravyas. And according to Vagbata, also the same thing he has explained Pipalyadi Dravyas and uh, Ushna Gudodaka. Uh, and even Acharya Kashyapa, he has mentioned the uh, man, uh, Mandha and Hitabojana and even the uh, Pipalyadi Ganadravyas. Lavana Rahita, he has explained and Snehapana has to be given with the uh, Pipalyadi Ganadravyas. And what is the uh, logic behind using this uh, Pipalyadi Gana? Mainly because Pipali or the Pipali Mula, which is having an anti-inflammatory and antibacterial property. So during the time of uh, delivery, whether it could be a normal delivery or a cesarean section, there will be a lot of uh, uh, exposing to the bacteria will be there. And Chavya, uh, that is a liver stimulant and blood cleansing and rejuvenating. And Chitraka, Deepana Pachana property, and it causes a uterine contraction so after the delivery the uterine uterus should uh, bring back to the normal pre-pregnancy state for this this chitraka will help and uh, within uh, so six weeks uh, after the delivery the involution of the uterus should happen so for this this chitraka will help and shunti again it is having an anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial property cola which is a rich source of calcium phosphorus and vitamin a and kulatta it is a good source of iron so especially in uh, south india they will use this kulatta yusha after the delivery for first uh, few days uh, they will give uh, daily one cup of uh, kulatta yusha because it is a uh, loss of blood loss will be there during the time of uh, delivery so th that has to be regained for this this kulatta yusha will help 
and airvaruka so it contains 94% of the water contents and keeps body hydrated and contains vitamins a b and k and uh, yava it is a good source of fibers and it which will help for the digestion and for the um, it will avoid the constipation also so the so these are the drugs which uh, we are using or which we are suggesting to the uh, patient after the delivery for the betterment of the um, mother and uh, use of the drugs like panchakola or gudodaka which is uh, help in excretion of the dushta shonita from the uterus and it normalizes the um, local discharges and does proper uterine involutions. So, local discharges means after the delivery for the first 15 days, there will be discharge from the vagina that is considered as a lochia. So, there should be a normal discharge should be there. There should not be any excess discharge. So, it indicates there is some pathology. So, for the normalizing the discharge, and for the proper uterine contractions or the involution, this drugs will help. And it will do even the Garbhashaya Shodhaka. And Ushna Gudodaka, the property, uh, it is having like uh, Sakshara, Na Ati Shita or this Nigda. And it is a Mutra Shodhaka, Rakta Shodhaka, Vatagna, Bhalya and Vrushyaguna. So, the, due to its uh, Kshariya property, it helps in removing the Shesha Doshas from the body. So, usually this is also a very common thing. Uh, uh, it is very simple to prepare also. It is not much time uh, taking uh, thing. So, easily this can be prepared and given to the uh, woman. So, this is having a lot of good effect to the mother. And from 8th to 11th days after the delivery, all the Acharyas explained about the, uh, for non-vegetarian, they can consume the Mamsa Rasa Sadita, Yava Kola Kulatta Yusha and Shali Bojana. And uh, Jivaniya Madhura Brumhaniya Dravyas can be advised and Vatahara Dravyas, especially we are advising uh, uh, the uh, Erenda Mulakashaya and uh, uh, the dashamula arishta or the dashamula kashayas so this will help to reduce the vata dosha in the body and uh, kashyap also mentioned the yavagupana and uh, lavana sneha aushada yukta uh, yavagupana he has advised from eighth day after the delivery so why uh, what is the re uh, could be the reason behind jangala mamsarasa maybe because it's a rich source of protein and uh, all amino acids and vitamin B complex, iron and phosphorus, which are present in adequate quantity and uh, which is uh, having a madhura rasa, guruguna, shita virya, um, indicated in shoshyata and the krushyata. So, yavagupana in the form of manda or peya with the sneha or with milk, which stimulates the agni, and it is lagu, dhatu poshana, tarpana and in uh, with the properties and it is easily digestible. So the um, food we have to advise which are having a easily digestible property because the sharira will be in amavasta. If we advise heavy food uh, which is uh, uh, difficulty for the digestion. So we have to advise easily digestible and absorbable food and which will reduce the thirst and it maintains the water in the body. And milk is a good source of protein, especially for a vegetarian people. And, uh, and it will supply all the vitamins and the calcium, which is very much required after the delivery. So even 12th day onwards also, Bhagbata has mentioned the Jangala Mamsarasa and Acharya Kashyapa has mentioned the Kulata Yusha Jangala Mamsarasa and uh, grita bharjita shakas the vegetables like kushmanda mulaka yervaruka and ushna jala sevana so these are the things advised by acharya acharya kashyapa and yushas usually which uh, is in semi solid in nature and rich in protein so which acts as a agni deepana balya svedana janaka and pushti sukhaprada so based on all these properties our Acharyas has given a lot of importance for the Ahara which has to be consumed after the delivery. And they have even given importance for the Vihara also. They have explained about the Abhyanga, 
ಉದರವೇಷ್ಠನ ಅಂಡ್ ಉಷ್ಣೋದಕ ಪರಿಶ ಪರಿಚರ್ ಪರಿಶೇಕ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಸುಶುತ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕಲಿ ಹೇ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ದ ಅಭ್ಯಂಗ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಡನ್ ವಿತ್ ಬಲ ತೈಲ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಅದರ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಉದ್ವೇಷ್ಟನ ಉದ್ವರ್ತನ ಅವಗಾಹ ಪರಿಶೇಕ ಧೂಪನ ಯೋನಿ ಸ್ವೇಧನ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಬೈ ಅವರ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯಸ್ ಸೊ ವೈ ಅಭ್ಯಂಗ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಡೆಲಿವರಿ ವೈ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಅಭ್ಯಂಗ ಸೊ ಅಭ್ಯಂಗ ಇಟ್ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಸಾರ್ವದೈಹಿಕ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಥಾನಿಕ ಅಭ್ಯಂಗ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಗೃತ ಆರ್ ತೈಲ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ದ ವಾತಶಮಕ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಟೋನ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ದ ಪೆಲ್ವಿಕ್ ಫ್ಲೋರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಬ್ಡಾಮಿನಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಂಪ್ರೂವ್ಸ್ ದ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಟು ಡ್ರೈನ್ ಔಟ್ ದಿ ಲೋಕ್ಯ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಲೋವರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡ್ರೈನೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಚಾರ್ಜಸ್ and yoni abhyanga which is help to tone up the vagina and the perineum and which prevents the laxity and the prolapse in the future so usually if a history of three deliveries or four deliveries there will be weakness of the muscle uh, and the um, uh, vagina and the perineal region so there will be laxity so this yoni abhyanga that is help to prevent the prolapse after even after two or three normal deliveries also and the parisheka that will help to do the vata kafahara and it will even do the stroto nirmalata which will help to remove the clots from the uterine cavity and even daily taking the hot water bath that not only maintains the hygiene of the patient and even it will help to reduce the vata dosha and stroto nirmalata and it removes the fatigue and provides strength to the body and it relieves the pain and even it will do the agni deepana and yoni deepana the deepana which is maintaining the hygiene of the pe- uh, perineal and the yoni the drugs usually we are uh, uh, using is agaru guggulu kushta which is having a jantugna and kandugna shotahara vranah shodhana property so this is a very simple uh, procedure even at home also we can advise the patient so let her take one uh, um, chair which is having a holes multiple holes or a single hole and over that uh, she can sit and we have to cover her with uh, uh, some blankets so under the her uh, the chair so we can keep the dupana so that will help to maintain the hygiene and it is having even the jantugna and kandugna property and it is even uh, help to uh, um, the for the episiotomy wound healing also so if we would have put the episiotomy during the time of normal labor so that uh, uh, for the easy absorption of the suture materials and for the easy um, healing of the episiotomy wound this yoni dupana will help and um, even we advise uh, the balataila purita asana so we will get uh, hot water bags in the um, market so we can uh, uh, fill the balataila over that in that and the over that if patient uh, sits it will help to reduce the perineal swelling and the pain also and even it helps for the involution of the vagina so after the delivery so according to harita he has mentioned that upavasa for first 24 hours or the first day so then after that he advises the kashayas or the kwata which has to be prepared with lodra arjuna kadamba devadaru bijaka and karkandu so this will do the yoni shodhana so thereby it will help to uh, regain all the um, um, anatomical uh, changes and even the garbhashaya shodaka also the clots which are present or any uh, placental membranes or local discharges so for that this kashayas will help 
ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯೋನಿ ಘಾಡಿ ಕರಣ ಸೊ ದ ಬಾಬ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಹಿ ಹಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಶನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಯೋನಿ ಘಾಡಿ ಕರಣ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಿ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಡೆಲಿವರಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಟೈಟನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವೆಜೈನ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಅಚೀವ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಲೇಪನ ಯೋನಿ ಲೇಪನ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪೇಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಲಾಶ ಬೀಜ ಅಂಡ್ ಉದುಂಬರ ಫಲ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಟು ದ ಯೋನಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಡೆಲಿವರಿ for first uh, 10 to 15 days that will help for the tightening of the vagina so that is uh, explained by bhava prakasha next the common thing and the common problem uh, and the patient usually ask uh, uh, after the delivery i have uh, my uh, so much of tummy how to reduce it so even for that there is a uh, uh, treatment or the description to reduce the abdominal girth so in uh, after the delivery early morning the patient has to take uh, the pippali and the jatta that has to be mixed with the buttermilk so this will help to reduce the abdominal girth after the delivery so immediately after third day or fourth day or after a week the patient should start and she can continue till uh, two months or three months uh, so little bit of pippali churna and the jatta has to be mixed with a little butter milk and that will help to reduce the abdominal girth and uh, cosmetically also and even uh, in our clinical practice also the many patients they, they are asking and they they will come up with this uh, uh, problem Uh, so uh, this is uh, having a good result and i have tried with many patients after the delivery and uh, they are uh, uh, having a better effect compared to those who are not practicing this then vishishta paricharya that is explained by kashyapa based on the deshas uh, the ಸೂತಿಕಾ ಪರಿಚರ್ಯಾಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಬೈ ಕಾಶ್ಯಪ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಅನುಪದೇಶ ಸಾಧಾರಣ ದೇಶ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ಜಾಂಗಲ ದೇಶ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ಅನುಪದೇಶ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗೀವ್ ವಾತ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ಶ್ಲೇಷ್ಮಹರ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ದ್ರವ್ಯಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಪ್ರಿಡಾಮಿನೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಭಿಷ್ಯಂದಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಕ್ಲೇದ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೆಕಮೆಂಡೆಡ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಜಾಂಗಲ ದೇಶ ವಾತ ಪಿತ್ತ ಪ್ರಿಡಾಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಗಿವನ್ and externally and internally both the sneha more of sneha should be given and dryness will be more hence the sneha pana parisheka ushnodaka has to be given more in the jangala desha specifically we have to give grita because it is having a pitta shamaka property bhalya rasayana agni deepana properties and uh, uh, um scientifically it is have contains uh, omega 6 which provides anti inflammatory property and it also contains 3% of linoleic acid and antioxidants and it contains vitamin a d e and k so all this properties definitely it will uh, very much required for a woman and what are the things uh, the lady has to avoid after delivery so she should avoid ratri nirgamana that is uh, uh, so much of walking during or awakening during night hours and krodha shoka bhaya vega dharana diva swapna adhyashana nityopachara and vishama bhojana so all these things which will lead to sutika vyadhis if she follows these things then there will be chances of sutika vyadhis uh, the diseases which are uh, common during uh, uh the sutika avastha so that has to be prevented by avoiding the these nidanas and when the rajodarshana will happen so usually after one and a half month or till the mother feeds her mother uh, baby then the the menstruation will not be there so the ahara rasa once reaches to breast and forms the stanya and other parts of rasa forms the rudira and which reaches the yoni and forms the raja and it happens and after that repletion of all these dhatus then the uh, repletion of the uh, dhatus then there will be appearance of the uh, menstruation or menstrual cycle 
and according to the different uh, states wise there are different uh, regimens will be followed um, after the delivery so i am taking some of the uh, states uh, so um, as i belong to karnataka i know what are the practices they are uh, doing and uh, we are advising so usually in south Karna uh, south india so they will advise um, the rice gruel which is which we add uh, uh, pancha kola churna and arishta sevana specially we will give uh, dashamula arishta abhyanga with oil and non medicated hot water bath and uh, we advise the uh, uh, mother to lie over the jute roped uh, wooden bed and dupana will be because this uh, below that the dupana will be uh, put so uh, that is why usually this uh, type of bed is advised and uh, dupana with the kola gugulu samrani so uh, these are the things will be used for dupana and udara vestana also that is tying the abdomen that also will be done and uh, in kerala uh, they follow very strictly this uh, uh, sutika paricharyas and uh, they called it as a prasava raksha so uh, that which is protecting the mother after the delivery that is why the name they have given it as a prasava raksha so usually three to four days they will give rice gruel adding with the panchakola chuna and ghee and after uh, one week they will start with the uh, dashamula rishta or jiraka rishta then after that uh, kashaya sevana especially danvantari kashaya rasnadi kashaya marma kashaya so these are the kashayas they are uh, uh, advising and along with that uh, uh, they are giving uh, churna jiraka churna and uh, guda and uh, they have they are giving some lehyas like uh, puli lehya uli lehya kurunji and uh, kuruku marunnu so these are the lehya saubhagya shunti lehya tengin pukalyadi rasaya and ashwagandha adi lehyas so all this uh, lehya uh, which is having the uh, agni deepana properties and uh, ama pachana properties so that will help to regain all the dhatus and in north indians they are uh, preparing the laddus and uh, giving to the mother uh, with uh, wheat flour balls and jaggery cake uh, they are preparing and they are giving and they are giving medicated water so uh, with a uh, yavani that is boiled water and abhyanga with uh, uh, musta and the yavani shunti uh, and haldi dishes they are giving and uh, flax seed uh, laddus for treating the backache and even along with that, the Dashamula Kashaya, Dashamula Arishtas, uh, uh, they are uh, giving for to relieve the body ache, constipation, etc. And in northeast uh, part of the India, um, as I told in the beginning, uh, for 12 to 13 days, they will not provide any kind of bath. Uh, Sitz bath or Prakshalana with Ushna Jala by adding turmeric powder, they are uh, advising. And uh, they are not exposing uh, the mother to direct sun and the wind and exposing back and hip region to heat by using heater or hot charcoal fire. And not they are not practicing any kind of oil massages. And uh, they are giving old rice, smoked dry fish and use uh, unrefined salt and not using any oil and vegetables which are rich in iron, calcium, fiber, like taro plant, banana stem, etc., boiled with uh, without oil and chilies, so that they are giving to the mother and jira water for drinking. So these are the uh, aharas and viharas they are um, advising uh, uh, in different parts of the India, and uh, most common uh, thing is most of the uh people they are giving only the hot water bath and the dashamula ajishta mahasaubhagya shunti lehya it is very common in all parts of the india and uh, they will give only the light food and uh, for non vegetarian they will give the soups uh, for the mother 
So these are the common things. And there are some yoga asanas which we can advise after the delivery for uh, uh, for the good uh, uh, tone of the muscle and the uh, better uh, inv involution of the uterus. And especially we advise uh, Gomukha asana that which will brings the circulation to the breast area so that uh, the breast milk secretion will increase. And... Um, it relieves even the swelling uh, over the legs because during the pregnancy, the pedal edema is very common. Uh, some people will have uh, the physiological edema and some people will have the pathological edema, but most of the people will have the mild edema. So this will help to relieve the swelling of the legs and which will help the uh, increasing the breast uh, uh, area circulations. So thereby help for the breast milk. And uh, Udva, Udva Prasarita Padasana, which will uh, relieve upper back tensions and lift the tones of the abdominal organs. So that is very much necessary after the delivery. So all this, the, the concept is to regain the pre-pregnancy state. So all this Ahara, Vihara, Yogasana, whatever, which we are advising to the patient, the ultimately the goal is to bring back to the pre-pregnancy state. So this Urtva Prasarita Padasana, which will help for the tone of the abdominal organ. And Adomukha Shwanasana, which will uh, tones the uterus and abdominal organs and the pelvic floor and it extends the spine and relieves the back tension. Tadasana, which uh, lift and tones the pelvic floor and uh, the organs and it improves the posture, body posture. Vrikshasana, it improves the po posture, lift and tones the pelvic organ and completely it energizes the body system. So when we can advise this uh, yoga asanas after the delivery, so usually um, the after normal delivery, after two weeks, weeks we advise uh, uh, all the asana to perform and for cesarean section after six weeks of pregnancy uh, six weeks of the, the delivery we advise to practice all these asanas so thereby it will help to regain the uh, tone of the abdominal uh, muscles and uh, tone of the uh, vagina and even all the pre-pregnancy state uh, anatomically and physiologically, it will bring back. So ultimately, uh, the conclusion of this uh, uh, Sutika Paricharya, so the Ahara and the Vihara, which are described by Ayurveda Acharyas thousands of years ago for Sutika is totally scientific because the uh, even the modern science uh, tells that there will be anatomical, physiological, psychological, emotional changes which are taking place after the delivery and which will settle back uh, within six weeks after the delivery. So during that six weeks is very crucial for a mother and there will be a lot of changes which is taking place. So uh, the um, uh, drugs or the aharas, viharas, yogasanas, which are told in our classics, uh, it is definitely which is very much helpful for the mother and even uh, for the baby also indirectly. If mother is happy, even the baby is also happy. So Sutika Paricharya have been told for the prevention of Sutika Vyadis. And by following Sutika Paricharya, one can attain Garbhashaya Shuddhi, Dhatu Pariposhana, Stanya Vriddhi and Punar Navi Karana of the body. So with this, the uh, Sutika Paricharya, even today, it is very much necessary to advise for all the patients which we are seeing and even in our family also need not be patients only which we are seeing even uh, in our family also we have our sisters uh, or our relations anyone so for them uh, we should not neglect that period after the delivery so we have to give importance even after the delivery for a mother so with this I would like to conclude my topic, today's topic. Thank you. Thank you one and all. Namaste. Thanks, ma'am.
nice presentation thank you very much for your expert uh, speech uh, it was really nice very nice simple and sweet ma'am very nice uh, one question is there by uh, bhupal shelki stanya vruddhi ke liye kya de sakte hai ye to i think bahut hi common question hai aur but fir bhi kai baar aise hota hai na ki badhta hi nahi milk there is problem with something like emotional or whatever the factors are ma'am kindly guide yeah yeah so uh, the of course this uh, abhyanga and all definitely it will help to increase the uh, breast uh, circulation and thereby it will help and orally we are uh, giving uh, mustakarishta uh, which is a uh, good uh, deepana pachana and even the dashamularist also will uh, help and even uh, cortical's uh, uh, one uh, stanya janana rasayana usually will prescribe that is also very much uh, beneficial and uh, uh, even the uh, ushas and the ganges uh, uh, which we are giving uh, with uh, uh, deepani dra dravyas that also will help to increase the breast milk so the the concept is we have to increase the rasadhatu mainly we have to increase the rasadhatu because because thanya is a upadhatu of rasadhatu once the rasadhatu is increased automatically the its upadhatu thanya is also will be increased so the we have to first we have to clear the strotas uh, the rasavaha strotas then we have to give the the dravyas which will increase the rasadhatu and orally also we have to tell the patient to drink a lot of water because specially after the delivery in certain places and uh, certain religion they will not give uh, even a single uh, drop of water to the patient after the delivery so that is that is wrong thing and we have to advise the patient to take lot of liquids after the delivery so that will definitely which will uh, improve the uh, stanya and uh, the uh, women should drink a minimum 3 glasses of that is 500 ml of milk uh, per day that also will help to increase the stanya so along with that even the shatavari and uh, uh, the kusha kusha uh, swarasa we are giving that also which is uh, helping to increase the breast milk okay ma'am any more medicines from your side no ma'am uh, usually with uh, stanya janana rasayana shatavari churna and uh, the ushas which we uh, with uh, people and all uh, the it will increase uh, and uh, the breast massage also with balatai yeah. yes ma'am aur ma'am aapki taraf se agar uh, is samay pe like contraception ka kaise vichar kare uh, like uh, ki kya matlab precautions kya le no usually as you know that uh, there is a uh, because no hormonal party. pills are not uh, indicated so ha uh ha -huh. usually we advise uh, uh, from uh, uh, male side only to use yeah, uh, yeah. condoms or otherwise if the patient is willing for coperty then we'll put a coperty during the time of uh, delivery itself uh, whether Achha. it should be a normal delivery or cesarean section if it is a cesarean section during the time of uh, cesarean section only we'll put a coperty if patient is willing मैम अगर हम लोग डिलीवरी के बाद तुरंत या सीजर के दौरान ही कॉपर्टी लगा देते हैं तो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगा नो 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 यूजुअली इफ बिफोर ओनली वी लास्ट इफ बिफोर टेकिंग फॉर सीजरियन सेक्शन वेदर दे आर इंटरेस्टेड सो इफ दे आर इंटरेस्टेड ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ सीजरियन सेक्शन ओनली वी विल पुट नो प्रॉब्लम विल अराइज because i have uh, uh, put me for my patients many patients so there are no complications acha acha okay ओके एनी मोर क्वेश्चंस डॉक्टर्स यू कैन आस्क डायरेक्टली मैम एक प्रश्न ये भी था कि जैसे कि कुछ महिलाओं में पोस्ट लाइक सुती का इस फेज में ब्लीडिंग बहुत ज्यादा होती है मतलब कंट्रोल नहीं होता एक महीने तक चलता है कभी ऐसे में क्या करें no till one month uh, we will not give any medications madam uh, it is normal we consider Achha. it as a normal only if it is not excessive only just a spotting it is there uh, daily for uh, till 6 weeks 
we will not give any medications. So even after six weeks of delivery, if the bleeding is still continuing, then only we'll give Stambana Aushadis like uh, Bola Badarasa or uh, Ashoka Arishta or uh, uh, Musali Kadiradi Kashaya. So any of these drugs we will uh, give only after six weeks of the delivery. Until that, if mild bleeding is there, we will not treat that. Yeah, ma'am, psychological aussad, mono aussad, bhi aajkal bhoti zada, uh, like post pregnancy complications and nairash depression kafi hai. So, for that purpose, what uh, will be preferred? So, this sutika paricharya is itself uh, will help to get rid of all this uh, sutika vyadis, madam. So, definitely, yeah, yeah. if she follows this sutika paricharya, because it's not only acting anatomically, even it will help for the um, to give a psychological and uh, the physiological uh, things. So that is why that is why I'm insisting for all the ladies, all the women, uh, we have to advise this Sutika Paricharya. So this will definitely it will help for the psychological support. Yeah, and after that, uh, some patient may come with the amenorrhea for a long. So hmm. what will be the exact time? So we should start. start Till our she feeds. Of Till she feeds, no medication is required. It could be a one and a half year or two years. One year, so we can wait for one year. Yeah, yeah, we can wait for one year. Because there will be high prolactin level will be there. When high prolactin level will be there, the estrogen will be less. So the menstruation will usually, for some patient, it will not start even one, one and a half year also. So we can wait, no problem. Okay, ma'am. Okay. If we induce a menstrual cycle, the breast milk will reduce. If she want to give her uh, feed her baby for one and a half year or two years, then we should not supposed to give uh, any induction of uh, uh, induction for the menstrual cycle. Yeah. One more question: PNC me hypertension ho to kya precautions le and treatment? Pardon me. Postnatal yani. Ah, postnatal. PNC me. Ah, ah, ah. Hypertension. To kya de hypertension? Yeah. Usually we give uh, gokshurak shira paka. So this will help to reduce mm -hmm. the uh, uh, post-pregnancy, uh, uh, post-delivery hypertension. So Gokshura Shirapaka along with Arjuna Arishta uh, we prescribe. Acha, acha. Ma'am, kuch risk vagera is me like, uh, so it is safe to use na? Yeah, it is very much safe if her BP is 140, 150 uh, in that range. Usually, the during the time of uh, delivery or in the uh, pregnancy-induced hypertension, in such patient, even the post-delivery also, the hypertension will continue for some uh, uh, months. So, during that period, it is safe to take uh, this medicine. No effect even to the baby also. So, Gokshura Shirapaka, it is very much safe. Ma'am, कुछ ऐसे medicines हैं क्या जो सूतिका अवस्थे में हम लोग नहीं देंगे? आपके तरफ से like some चंद्र प्रभावटी आरोग्य वर्दीनी No no we can give madam we can give चंद्र प्रभावटी if urine infection is there usually we give चंद्र प्रभावटी if any skin issues are there even after the delivery she can continue with आरोग्य वर्दीनी no problem Okay, ma'am. Even uh, agar antenatal care ke dauran bhi hypertension hai, we can go with same medications. Yeah, yeah, we can go with same medication. But uh, during delivery, um, during pregnancy, we are not giving uh, uh, Arishtas, Arjuna Arishta. We are giving yeah, only yeah. Uh, the Gokshurak Shira Paka because in uh, while explaining the Masanu Masika Paricharya in the sixth month, uh, they have specifically told Gokshura Siddha Grita. It is indicated uh, during pregnancy. So the, the concept behind this Masanu Masika Garbini Paricharya is to get rid of the uh, the pregnancy induced uh, diseases uh, like hypertension or diabetes. So during that time, we can safely, we can indicate it. Uh, this even during pregnancy also, this Gokshura can be indicated. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Wonderful. Or koi sawal ho to bataye, please. और मैम एक बहुत कॉमन रहता है वेट बढ़ गया है वेट <laughs> बढ़ गया है 
सो फॉर दैट एबडोमिनल गर्थ एंड एबडोमिनल वेट गेन के लिए क्या कर Uh, that is what i explain no ma'am uh, usually with uh, pipali uh, uh, mixed with uh, takra for 3 uh, months or 4 months you can give that will definitely it will help to reduce the abdominal girth and even the waist and also immediately after the delivery if it is a normal delivery from the third day itself she has to uh, start uh, tying the uh, udara waist and and nowadays okay. it is very easy also in all medical shops this abdominal uh, um, uh, belt which, which is available so they can easily wear that one yes ma'am yeah belt to uh, but belt ka bhi kuch hai kya like hamare isme bhi patta bandhan wagera bola gaya hai ha so it is safe na like yeah it uh, is safe after normal delivery from the third day itself even second day itself she can start and uh, for uh, from uh, for a cesarean section from seventh day onwards we will advise usually Yes, yes, very nice, ma'am. Very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Pipali jata mamsi hai kya? Acha jata, yani jata mamsi hai mein kya hai? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jata mamsi. Yes, jata mamsi. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So with this, I think uh, there are no more more questions. So thank you very much, ma'am, for your cooperation and uh, guidance. And uh, from our side, as we are celebrating the Foundation Day. just uh, token of love i am sharing with the uh, certificate for you and uh, and it is needed uh, nowadays so yeah ma'am thank you thank you so much uh, uh, considering me as your member thank you so much yeah so okay थैंक यू वेरी मच मैम फ्रॉम अर्जरपन की तरफ से भी मैं आपका स्वागत करती हूँ मैं और यहाँ पे जुड़े सारे अभी ये फेसबुक में भी बाद में चला जाएगा लाइव हो जाएगा अभी तो यूट्यूब पर लाइव था काफी लोगों ने इसको देखा है एंड uh, फिर हम लोगों ने काफी ग्रुप्स में भी शेयर किया है और सारे डॉक्टर शशि डॉक्टर भूपाल डॉक्टर प्रेमलता मैंने लिंक भी शेयर किया है तो ऐसे ही uh, संभाषा सत्र डेली शाम को छह बजे हमारे यहाँ पे चलता है जिसमें आप सारे जुड़ सकते हैं एंड बीच बीच में हम लोग डॉक्टर रचना जैसे एक्सपर्ट्स को भी बुलाते हैं सो नाइस आपका आवाज एंड वॉल्यूम काफी क्लियर और ये रहता है हमेशा अच्छा लगता है सुनने को सो विद दिस वर्ड्स आई एम एंडिंग द सेशन थैंक यू वेरी मच ऑल नमस्ते मैम नमस्ते थैंक यू